Kopole Masenga has always taken refuge in judo. It helped him deal with the war that killed millions in his homeland, the Democratic Republic of Congo. And as a refugee in Brazil, it has fueled his spirit. Now it's taking him to the Olympics. He's one of 10 refugees who will compete on their own team under the International Olympic flag. It's the first such team. I'm doing this for all the refugees in the world. I'm fighting for all of us, all of us. Fellow Olympic team member Yolanda Mabika also grew up in the war-torn DRC. Mabika and Masenga asked for asylum in Brazil in 2013 after their Congolese coach locked them up for three days in a Rio hotel room during a competition. Her goal, like any other Olympian, she wants a medal. Asked if she found it harder to compete on this special team rather than for her home country, she was clear. I suffered for a long time. No one helped me in my country, so it's not difficult at all. Their Brazilian coach has been impressed by their strength and the ability to heal. Sport is a very powerful tool to help people who have had hardship or haven't had opportunity. The refugee Olympic team is going to walk into the welcoming ceremony here in Rio when the Olympics kick off even before the home team, Brazil. By giving them so much visibility, it's going to allow them to draw attention to the plight of refugees everywhere. A plight that refugees like these show they're eager to overcome, only given the chance. Adam Rainey, Al Jazeera, Rio de Janeiro.